Hi there, this is Mike Masuda at Evergreen Valley College uh, Physics and Astronomy Department. This is just a quick demo using three springs, uh, really long ones. Uh, these two here I'm holding on this end, they are connected to a third spring over there forming a Y-shaped piece of spring. And what I'm going to do is demonstrate the concept of constructive and destructive interference a little bit. It's not the perfect analogy, but at least you'll get a sense of what's going on here. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, have this contact the ground here, and I'm going to um, move the two springs uh, both to the, to the left and right simultaneously. I'm going to basically move my arms this way and then back out this way. And so it'll be a quick flick of the wrist here uh, so that they both produce the same type of wave, crest and crest simultaneously. All right, so in that case there, the two waves added together, all right, and as you can see, it produced a wave that progressed all the way to the end of the, the hallway, uh, to the room over there, and the crest actually bounced against the, uh, the wall over there. Let me do it again. Okay, so you get that effect. I can do the same thing going the other way. It also produces that effect also, right? When the crests add up together, you get that. Now, if I do this such that I bring my arms in and out, okay, uh, in other words, both arms inwards and back out again like this, I'll do it faster now, uh, you'll see that they don't quite do that. In fact, they will be canceling each other out, okay? So you can slow it down if you want to, but there isn't a whole lot of energy that is transferred in this case here because the waves, when they meet at the intersection, they cancel each other out through destructive interference. One wave is trying to go one way, the other wave is trying to go the other way, and through that fight, they basically cancel each other out. And so the overall effect of, uh, effectiveness of this, as it continues onwards, is that the, um, the amplitude is diminished significantly. All right, that's called destructive interference. Now, when the waves are in the same direction uh, in terms of their uh, amplitudes, so if I go like this, you can see that the amplitude uh, is increased by the time it goes past the intersection and makes its way to the other side towards the door there. Okay, that's called constructive interference. All right, and so constructive interference is when they add it together like this, producing an overall larger amplitude, and destructive interference is when they cancel each other out. Okay, as I just did there. Okay, the waves are going to be out of phase with each other, so one is producing a crest, the other is producing a trough. And so by the time they reach the intersection, they will fight with each other to basically produce an amplitude, ending up canceling each other out there. All right. Again, these are just springs uh, as I'm holding it here. All right. I'm just demonstrating the fact that these things are interacting with each other, producing uh, an analogy of the constructive and destructive interference for sound and for light. Thank you.